Y'all, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but it's already December. This year has really flown by. I think this is a great time to prepare and start the new year off strong. Let's walk through the basics of digital planning and good notes to get you ready. You want to use your iPad to get organized in the new year? I got you. Let's get into it. some of my frequently asked questions. Let's start with what I'm using to digital plan. I'm currently using the iPad Pro 12.9, the 2021 model. But you can use any iPad for digital planning that's compatible with the note-taking app. You also need a stylus to use with your iPad. I'm using an Apple Pencil and I have it in this Moco Pencil case. I have also added a pen-like tip to the Apple Pencil. I feel like the tip and the case help my handwriting. I've always loved big pens, so this case is top tier. Another accessory that I feel like has helped my handwriting is having a paper-like screen protector on my iPad. It just gives it more of a paper feel instead of you writing on the screen. It just elevates your handwriting to another level. This is the case that I'm currently using on my iPad and I absolutely love it. I have not found the stickers that I want to add to this yet, that's why it's still blank, but I do plan on decorating it. The thing that I love the most about this case is that the pencil holder is on the charging side. My other case had the holder on the opposite side and if you're not using your pencil, you might as well be charging it, right? The app that I'm using for digital planning and that I recommend is GoodNotes. There are other note-taking apps that can work with your digital planner, but this is the one that I'm most familiar with. What is digital planning? Digital planning is a PDF that's imported into a note-taking app. The note-taking app allows you to write and add stickers to your planner. The app provides you all the tools to use your iPad like a paper planner, and this allows you to write and draw on the screen. There are two versions of GoodNotes. GoodNotes does offer a free version. With the free version, you can have up to three notebooks and limited features. The full version is $7.99 and it's a one-time purchase. With the full version, you get unlimited notebooks and all the features of the app. Do I need a new iPad or an iPad Pro? No, to digital plan, you only need an iPad that is compatible with the note-taking app, an Apple Pencil, or a stylus to get started. You can also digital plan using your iPhone and your MacBook. GoodNotes syncs across all three devices, making it convenient and easy to access your planner. You can type in your planner, make changes, check your grocery list, or add appointments on the go. You always have your planner with you, which is a huge advantage over having the paper planner that you would have to carry the book around. You can also print your pages if you ever feel like you want to get that paper feel. Um, you can export the page or the whole planner itself. Now let's walk through the steps for downloading your digital planner. First thing you want to do is go to Etsy and find a planning system that works for you. Now, I know of a great planning system. It's the All Things Planner. And it covers everything you need as far as your tasks for your personal, career, or household. You should check it out. I'll make sure to link the walkthrough video below. Now, once you've made your selection and purchased your digital product on Etsy, I don't know why and it doesn't make any sense to me, but you cannot download your purchases from the Etsy app. On the Etsy website, go to your icon on the toolbar, then purchases, view download, and it'll take you to the link for your PDF. Now, if you purchase your digital planner from me, you'll get this PDF, which is a guide to help you download. You're gonna select the planner that you wanna download, Select open in the pop-up box. Tap on the download button at the top left of the screen. Select download again. Now click on the file in your downloads tab and the file will open in the web browser. From here, tap on the share icon and select the app that you wanna use from your list. I'm gonna use GoodNotes. Now import as new document. Now your planner is good to go. 
just do a brief overview of GoodNotes. This is just going to be to get you started using the app. Now this first icon we're going to look at is probably the most important. It's the icon that's going to put your planner from edit mode to read mode. When you see this circle with the pencil, it's in read mode. When you see this icon, you will not be able to write in your planner, but you will be able to easily access your hyperlinks. This is probably the easiest way to use your hyperlinks in the planner. Now, when you select this icon, it's going to put your planner in edit mode. You'll get your toolbar with all your pens and tools that you can use in your planner. Now let's briefly go through the toolbar. This first tool is your zoom feature. When you select this tool, it's going to give you a box at the bottom that's going to zoom in wherever this smaller blue box is. So whenever you put the box where you want to write and you write down at the bottom, it's going to magnify the area so that you can use it to improve your handwriting. Next tool is your pen tool. With the pen tool, you have three options of pens to use and you can also select the thickness of the pen that you want to use. Next, you have your eraser with three different types of erasers and you can also select the size eraser that you would like to use. The next tool is your highlighter and your highlighter you can change the colors. Um, this is the same place that you would change the colors for your pen as well. And you can change the thickness of your highlighter. Now we have your shape tool. This tool comes in handy when you're trying to draw any type of shape. It's going to snap your shape into a perfect square, circle, rectangle, whatever you're trying to draw. This next tool is your lasso tool. And it's like your magic wand of digital planning. You can do everything with your lasso tool. So your lasso tool, you can circle and move things around. You can hold and it comes up with its own toolbar. We'll get deeper into the lasso tool. It deserves a segment of its own. This next tool is your elements tool. And this is where I store my favorite stickers that I use a lot. So it just makes it handy to have your stickers where you can pull them out in the elements tool. But we'll get into that more later. This next one is your picture tool. And this one comes in handy if you have anything on your camera roll that you wanna use in your planner or your journal. You can just import the picture in and resize it and use it. Next, we have your text tool. This is what you would use if you wanna use the internal or external keyboard. You also can access your fonts you've downloaded to your iPad here. You can change the color and the size of the font. Now we have this laser tool. Um, it's like a pointer. You know, if you're trying to show somebody something on your iPad, this is what you would use for a pointer tool. All right, friend, I hope this overview for digital planning and the little snippet overview for good notes has been helpful. Um, this is just the beginning. I'm definitely coming back with more videos, more tutorials. Some of the stuff that I've gone over on TikTok, I'm gonna slow those videos down and give you a YouTube version of those. We're gonna get this thing together, girl. All right, till next time.